Today I'm going to show you how to create a new page for your elements and principles of design photo project. So I'm logged into Google Sites and I'm going to click this button up here in the right corner called New Page. And I'm going to name the page E and P Photos. And you can name it something similar. Down here where it says select a template to use, I'm going to pop open this menu and choose announcements. That way I can create posts for each new element and principal project that I do. I'm going to now click create and wait for my new page to appear. So here we go. ENP Photos is the title at the top and I'm going to click the new post button. Here's my new post. I'm going to highlight where it says untitled and I'm going to put value. And down here I'm going to put my low key and high key photos. I'm going to go ahead and click the layout menu up here at the top and take a look at my options. I think um, from now I'm going to choose this two columns with space to write at the top and the bottom because I have two photos. And if I change my mind about that later, I can just go back up to layout and um, change that if I need to. So you can see that my layout has changed to the one that I selected. Now normally I would just go to insert and find my images. However, my images are actually Photoshop documents and you can't insert Photoshop documents onto a Google site. So I have to convert them to JPEGs. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to, I have Photoshop open and I'm going to open my high key photo and I'm going to go to file, save as, and you can see that the file format is .psd. So I'm going to pop open the format menu and choose JPEG. And I'll, I'll leave it the same name. There's not really a reason to change that. And I'll click Save. Looks like I already have um, a copy of this. So Photoshop is asking me if I want to replace that. And uh, I'll just say OK. And I'm going to have the quality option set on 6 because I don't want this to be a huge file that takes a long time to download. So I'm going to make it medium quality and click OK. Now I'm going to go to File, Open and choose my low key photo. So let's see, there it is. So this is a Photoshop document. I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I can see that the file format is PSD, so I do need to change that to JPEG. And I'm going to leave the title the same. Just click Save, and make sure that the quality is set to 6, which is a medium quality, and click OK. Now I'm going to go back to my Google site, now I can go to insert image and navigate to find those images, choose file, and let's see, I'll choose my high key JPEG right here and click open. And here in the alt text box, I'm going to put high key and click OK. And of course, it comes in, it looks very large. So I'm going to choose my size options on this menu here and I'll, I'll choose large. Now for my other photo, it's actually a, a horizontal photo. So I'm going to put it in this box down here that's going horizontally because I think it will look better. So I'm going to go to Insert Image and choose File again and find my low key JPEG and open that 
And for my alt text, I'm going to put low key and click OK. And this is showing up very large because it's the original size. So I'm going to choose the size option down here for large so that it shrinks the image to a manageable size. Now, um, underneath these photos, I'm going to write an explanation of why this is a good example of, a, of value. So I'll start out with something like, this photo is a great example of low, I'm sorry, this is the high key photo, of high key value because it is made from mostly light values. And I just made that up off the top of my head and when I give myself a chance to think about it a little bit more I will probably add a little bit more detail to that and make it sound a little better but for now um, I'm happy with just getting my thoughts out about that one and um, you'll also need to add an explanation under the next photograph too and then push click save and you're finished. And that's it for now.